Hi folks, just want to thank you for those who have watched uh, yesterday's video and requested that I do some uh, resin um, videos to film them as I m make all my mistakes and what have you. <coughs> um, I'm going to be trying a different setup with my with my camera, so. Um, I've got one of these like um, gooseneck um, um, thingamajigs and uh, I'm going to be uh, aiming at the jewellery so you won't see my face uh, so it's going to be a bit of trial and error today um, what I want to do start with hang on let's uh, zoom in is to make some of these pendants using these bezels so there you are folks I shall be back shortly okay folks first step what I'm going to do is pour some resin into I'm just hoping, hang on, I'll have to swap to my left arm. <laughs> Good job I'm uh, kind of ambidextrous. I'm not going to put, I'm not going to go over mad. got plenty of moulds though so if uh, if I've uh, got some left over I can use them in there so I'm doing I'm just pouring in four lots of uh, UV resin into these little jug things, mixing containers. I'm using that. This is just came yesterday or the day before, uh, so I'm just using that today. Um, so it's my first time. Just realised that should have been 300 gram, and they've only sent me 200. So yeah, you you got to watch these things, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use. Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> I've got the camera upside down, so there we are. So I'm using these glitter things. I assume these are, these are glitters and not the broken glass. They look like glitters, and. Uh, I've got four different colours. Ah, that's it, we're, we're better now. Some green, some blue, and some gold. If you can see, can you see that? It's just got some little holes so you don't pour too much out. I think that's a great idea. Now I'm just, hang on, swap hands. I'm just going to add a little bit in. Now I know some people pour loads in. I, a minute. I don't want loads there. Oh, hang on, I'm not using that one. <laughs> Nearly made my first mistake there. Get some blow in. Yeah, some people do a real. Hang on. Really load it, and I don't want to. I want to just leave it like that. So we've got gold, we've got some red. Yeah. 
sometimes having too much can uh, spoil what you're trying to find. Oh, yeah. So we've got some. We don't need, as you can see, we don't really need too much. Now, let's bring this tissue and my stick over. Now, I don't mind if I get some of these colours mixed with other um, colours. In so, I'm going to use the same stick. I'm just going to go like that. Actually, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm going to give it a wipe. Give it a wipe in between. Now mix that. Give it a quick wipe. This filming with this is very awkward. I think maybe I have to refine my um, refine my filming position next time. Right. I could have just sprinkled this into the uh, onto the uh, bezels, you know, into the mould, but uh, but. Uh, I've not done that this time. Right. I've tried... What I'm about to do, I've already tried once, and it was a success. I've not got any of that special tape um, to seal the mould, so I'm relying on the surface and this these silicon uh, sheets to... Um, well, the be basically the bezels to stick to the sheets uh, and not and for the resin not to seep out. That's the plan. Uh, let's see what happens. Now at this point, I just let it all spread out because you can, you can, you cannot so easily put too much in. I think we're, we're all right. We can put a bit more in. There we are. Now I've got an on. I, I live on a narrow boat, and I've got uh, a not a very flat position at the moment. So I'm waiting. I'm, I'm going to order one of these self-adjust, well, not self-adjusting, but one of these adjusting table things for the resin, so it can always be um, in a flat position. But for now, we we'll have to make do with this. Well, we got our. I like to use the little. Uh, sometimes I use the handle, but sometimes I just. I like to use the little bit of a sprout, sprout and just pour it in. Now the one disadvantage of doing it this way is that I can't turn it over to do to um, set it with the UV, with the UV light, but because it's so small, it should be all right. I'm just put a bit more in there. If there's any overspill. I'm not sure whether that have I got it in. No, I hadn't. It's a good job I went through there just to make sure. Just filling up that space. Wow, and there's a little bit there I can see I've missed. There we are. Right, we're going to let that settle. We'll do the. We'll get the red out now, and we're 
going to put that into the first of these gold bezels. Now UV resin, in my opinion, is thicker than epoxy resin. So if you try to do this with epoxy, it may seep out underneath. We're obviously not going to have enough to do uh, everything in this batch, that doesn't matter. We'll just make sure we've got a pair, I don't know what these, I suppose these could be earrings. Could be earrings or they could be a pendant. I still haven't got my earring... Um, Get ins. It don't matter if there's a, a different uh, one on each ear, does it? Glitter. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so we've managed to do four. What I've got to do now. I've got one of these UV lights. Now I'm putting it up um, so it's kind of upside, um, it's the opposite way around for me so but I know that if I want it on maximum it's got to be on that one. They've all got to, got to light up. The reason behind that is because I use a battery um, backup so I can take it anywhere um, without issue and uh, basically I just plug it in and then switch it on and what I'm going to do is that's maximum of 150 seconds um, what I will do is do that twice so we'll wait until that finishes so what I'm going to do at the moment, um, I'm, rather than let you um, wait patiently, I'll come back in a second. Okay folks, it's now uh, finished, the UV light's done its job. Um, I've not checked or anything, we're going to do this live, well not live, but as you can see. I'm going to uh, move this out of the way. So I've got the, and they're the results. So, ah, okay. Well, there you are. That didn't work. But never mind. That, rather than now than, than um, do the same with these three, what I'm going to do I'm going to put it under UV light again let's just make it sure, yeah, that's it I'm trying to get the everything under I'm going to give it another um, 150 seconds and see what happens then okay folks well it turns out that even after 10 minutes uh, with the UV on the top 
the bottom wasn't set. Now whether that's to do with this UV resin, which is the first time I've used it, or whether whether it just needs to be turned over like I normally do, um, because normally it would be in a mould and I would flip the mould and I would then give it a uh, a session upside down but I, um, I could not do that doing it this way so this will probably be the last time I show you this way but it was worth a try what I can say is I've already checked on this and that is now solid hence I've got the gloves off let's look at that that looks quite beautiful don't you? everyone has different tastes so I'm trying to create a variety of, uh, of uh, pieces to suit everyone now it will need a little bit of finishing around the bezel where there's maybe a little bit of overflow and now I've got a bit of, I've got a, a bit of kit here. So there we are. And I use this and I, you, you scrape the sides and get it all tidied up. Um, <laughs> And it's just slipped my mind what we call it. I get these uh, mental blockages sometimes. You, you, <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll learn to, uh, to accept that. But anyway, I'm just, I'm still trying to think what, why can't I remember? It's a D. It's a different deburring tool, that's it. Yeah. You can get these from Amazon or um, eBay or wherever. Um, so that's that. So, I've got to put these then on. I've, I've, I've turned them over and now I'm going to give them another session of 100 and... 50 seconds upside down and then they should be fine and uh, that's basically it folks um, I'm sorry for being a bit uh, for it this video to be a bit of a flop to be honest um, I'm out of the um, routine of filming myself and this is a new method for me Normally I'd be doing the gardening or um, art or uh, apple tasting that and uh, we're getting to the swing of that but doing this it's uh, it's new to me. It's really the first time I've ever filmed a resin one so yeah. So without babbling on too much more I'm just going to say thank you for watching and uh, I hope, hang on let's see if we can just before I go, I'll just zoom in a bit. Yeah, there we are. So you can just see what the... What, uh, and if I can just move this over. Yeah, there we are. So you can just see that they have come out okay. But they need another session under the UV lamp. Okay, bye.